What makes this sting the most? Is it the fact that you hadn't had a chance to cut down nets in this tournament? Yeah, I mean, it's tough, just really, because play a team twice and we handle them and then we get them on a big stage like this. And I mean, they play a great game. I mean, credit to both of the DJs. Like that. I wanted to ask, it seemed like you and um, Burns at some points in the game were kind of exchanging some words. What are you guys talking about? I mean, just, just normal talk. I mean, yeah. really not. I mean, I, it's like, wow, I mean, you made a couple mid rays and then he goes and hit a three. So, I mean, that tells you what type of day we had. And I wanted to ask, you said on Tuesday you were talking with us, you said the team was desperate to win the ACC tournament. Do you think NC State was more desperate? No, I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's college basketball, and it's tough to beat a team three times. And like I said, I thought me personally, I didn't do great enough defensively one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I think all year, Proud of myself on guarding my man one on one, no help. But I mean, today, I thought he got the best of me. I thought offensively, I mean, I thought I was solid, but I could have did even more. And I mean, it's just tough, but you just got to move on. Armando, how important to you is the number one seed and getting the Charlotte potential? I mean, it'd be huge because it allows us to have that home court advantage and we don't have to do a lot of traveling. So hopefully we get it, but wherever we at, we got to play better than we did today. Do you think you're going to get together for the selection show tomorrow still? For sure. And I mean, to y'all's credit, really battled back at the end we're getting a lot of chances, um, you know, sending RJ to the line multiple times. What was your, just your confidence level that you guys were going to be able to pull back in front and pull out the win? Yeah, I mean, it was tough, and I mean, those situations, you got to stay confident, but I mean, at the end of the day, we kind of dug ourselves in a hole, and it got too late. Yeah, I guess just specifically, how do you think you dug yourself in a hole? It's not getting stopped, like I said. I mean, Burns, he went on a little run. Um, Horn, he went on a run. Really, I mean, what we've been doing all year is cutting the head off the snakes, and today, I mean, they, got, they did their thing. What was Schubert's message in here afterward? What did you guys talk about? Not really, just like moving on. I mean, we can harp and be sad, but at the end of the day, like the next game we got to play, if we lose, we go home. So, I mean, we just got to move on. What was his message at to you guys? just challenged us to just do better defensively, but I mean, unfortunately, we didn't do a better job. Does it make guys... the chip on your shoulder bigger heading into March? No, I mean, I think all year we've been playing with a passion and been playing hard. And I mean, it's March and I think they were hot. Hey, I mean, obviously we were desperate. They were desperate too. And they played a great game. I really, I don't really know what to say. They played a great game. Wouldn't be surprised if you didn't have any of the title. If you're going to have to purge one more time some of the bad stuff, is this the right time to do it? At least get it out of your system before you go to the next one? Yeah, this is the only time because if we yeah. don't do it next week, we can go home. So, a lot of top seeds did not play well this weekend for other conference tournaments. But it, you know, you can make some Maybe kind of some guys may be looking ahead. I don't yeah, I mean, I didn't think we were looking ahead. This was something we really wanted, but I think, I mean, it just really got down to one on one. Uh, Burns and Horns, they did their thing. and. Credit to them. Yeah, I, didn't you in see, way, I, I didn't mean to insinuate you guys. Oh, no, just in general. Yeah. Were you in any way surprised that, I mean, that they didn't run out of gas? Five games in five nights, I mean, and you got to win to keep your season going for those guys. Like, you know. Yes and no, because, I mean, we grew up playing AAU and it's five, six games in a, in a weekend. But still, I mean, though. I know it's a higher intensity in college, but, I mean, for them, like, if they don't win that game, they go home too. So it's like one of those things where you just leave everything on the line. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't surprised. I knew they would come out. And I mean, early on, I guess it was pretty surprising just how good they came out. But it's just one of those things where it was just two hungry teams, but they just got the best of us. You use the Tar Heels usually bring the fight to the game. It's kind of seemed like they brought the fight to y'all. Did that catch you guys off guard? Not necessarily. Um, we started off doubling, and I mean, they were hitting shots, so it was one of those things where I wouldn't say it's a gamble, but it's like 
you got to just take what you give. And it was just one of those things where they just came out and we cut the lead. We ended up being up in the first half, but the second half, we just couldn't get enough stops. And we put them on the line way too many times. I know you know this program's history well. Are you familiar with the last four national champions did not own this tournament? Well, hopefully we can get some of that luck, man. Hopefully that's a good sign. Amanda, how long do you think you guys and the rest of the team are going to linger on this one before flushing it and then fully moving on to what happens next? Yeah, I said win or loss early on in the week. Um, win or loss, we were going to soak in whatever today, but the next day we were going to move on because we know it's at stake and, I mean, our biggest goal is coming up and it's not nothing you can harp on because you go into a game Saturday and you lose, then you're going to really be sad. So it's one of those things we could just got to move on. It's going to be a pretty extended layoff from now until whenever your first game is Thursday or Friday. Do you feel like that's beneficial after an experience like this? Definitely beneficial because it just allows us to get back to the bases, get back in practice, and just work on what we've been doing all along. Where do you think State's going to be? What do you think they should be seeing? Since we're looking at T-State? I'm not going to speak too much about teammates, but myself, I just don't know. One seed, it would beat us. <laughs> AJ thought they might be in Dayton for the first four. Which, yeah, I mean, they're not. I mean, they're a good team, man. I mean, I, that shows you that. I mean, the ACC has been underrated all year. You get um, obviously NC State will be us, UVA, and um, Duke in a week, and that just shows you how good we are. I mean, they are, and then you get Pitt too, that plays us tough, and they've been great all year. So I think. Really shows everybody you got to put more respect on the ACC too. You I know you were talking about Coach Davis' house, I assume, right? Yes. Can I go now? <laughs> God damn. Uh, I know you guys have talked about the defense maybe not being to the level that you wanted, but I, I felt like offensively, you guys, it was just a struggle, and I think you shot 28% in the second half. It just didn't look good offensively. I mean, that's a direct correlation. When you don't get stops, you can't get in transition. And y'all know our offense is built on transition, so. Not getting stops allowed them to get set in their defense. And I mean, for me, it was, I was trying to make stuff happen. But at the same time, too, they were playing boxes and elbows. And I thought I got what I really wanted offensively, but it was tough, too, at times, too, just because they were so sucked in and we couldn't, we didn't hit shots. Yeah.